Yo, welcome fronies. Before we are jumping into the most requested guide, the Trade Unlock Stone Farm Guide, I'll take a short time to thank you guys for all the support that I'm lately getting. We have managed to reach a new milestone, 30,000 subscribers. I'm really grateful and I do want to give something back to the community. So I will be hosting a 6,000 Lucent giveaway. And if you want to participate, just like, comment and share the video. And then you're going to my community discord. There you will find a tab, which is called giveaway and here you can post a meme about throne and liberty next saturday the 9th of november at six o'clock we will be doing a live stream i will be reacting to all the memes and the funniest meme will be the winner of the giveaway i hope this is a fun way to give something back and now let's go into the guide showcase all the sources on how you can get trade unlock stones and also the best strategy to obtain them to max out the value from those sources. The first one is actually the Amitoy expedition where no matter where you're going you will be able to find a pouch and that pouch has the chance to get trade unlock stones out of it. The chance is only 6.6% so if you want to get the highest value out of it you will have to choose an area where you have five army toys of the correct element and then you will only send them out by one hour. This will give you the highest chance of pouches possible. Of course, when you're going to sleep, you will set it to eight hours, but while you're playing, only send them out by one hour and make sure that you're having the correct element. Next up, a source that for me has been basically like an unlimited farm. I can control it. I can... Um, do it daily and it's responsible for a large amount of trade unlock stones that I can farm within a week. And this is actually dynamic events. If you are in the top 10 rankings of a dynamic event, you're having the chance to gain trade unlock stones. I don't know the exact chance from the past two to three weeks that I've been um, keeping track of it. It was like a 30% chance to obtain five trade unlock stones as a lucky performance reward when I was able to be in top one one to five. Of course, um, being always in the top ranks in the high level events is not possible for everyone, but you can get those rewards also in the lowest events. And I've already made a guide, I will plan it in, on how you can get rank one in all of those events. And if you have a bit of experience, those events are downscaled, you don't even need that much gear. It is definitely doable to get high ranks in those events and farm trade unlock stones that way. Then something that maybe slipped through for some people's fingers is the fact that you can actually also craft trade unlock stone bundles. For that you need one token from each dungeon but you will get three pieces out of it. This is also a really reliant source to get the trade unlock stones and I am personally at the moment using my dungeon tokens for nothing else than crafting those unlock bundles. Another source to get trade unlock stones are actually mystic portals. I think you all by now know that you have to buy the mystic keys every day. So that is five chances to get trade unlock stones. But there's also one more option on how you can get more keys every day and a higher chance for trade unlock stones. And this is by participating in guild contracts. As you can see right here, based on the percentage that you're able to contribute to a guild contract, you will have a chance to gain additional mystic keys. And here you can see I'm at like 32%. If you do this daily and regularly, you will get multiple additional keys each week. Another reliable source to get trade unlock stones is actually fishing. If you don't know how fishing works, I will plan in a fishing guide for you. But overall, when you're buying your daily points from the contract coin merchant, you will get the daily bait, the paste bait. And only using that bait, you will be able to get small sacks and big sacks from fishing which can contain those trade unlock stones. So you have a daily cap here. There's actually one way to bypass that cap. And this is here with the fishing bait chest in the ornate coin shop, which can give you access to more sacks if you have the time to do the fishing. Next thing is actually the weekly missions. Each week you do have to complete the missions as you can see right here. I'm just doing it for that week right now. And then you will unlock different items. Most of the time, if you're not extremely lucky, those items will be useless and worthless. Most of the times, it's the highest value to pick the 25 trade unlock stones right here. 
rather than one of those items. Then something that we can see right here in the battle pass, even on the free version, we can get trade unlock stones. But if you're purchasing the battle pass in itself, you're getting even more trade unlock stones. It's a total of 100 pieces in that battle pass and spending the 500 lucent just to get those 70 trade unlock stones is definitely already worth it no matter what else of great rewards are in the past. You will always see events rolling out like for example at the moment right now we're having the Halloween event. Those events will come regularly and you should always check the rewards here because here for example we can get 25 trade unlock stones each week so that's a total of 75 trade unlock stones just from that event. Yeah guys that was it. Uh, my ways on how I'm farming the trade unlocks stones currently not to not having to pay 33,000 lucent just to buy one trade extract. If you still have any questions about the game, just let me know. As always, I will try to answer all comments in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys.